Sabonis? Yeah, but they just bounce off when you're in there and the adrenaline's going. I think the first one niggles a little bit, then after that they just bounce off, always another one. You just get used to it, to be honest. <laughs> you just uh, chin down, bite down and, and crack on. I knew even if I had it all my own way for a number of rounds, there'll be a time when he thinks, right, that's it, I'm just going to give everything I've got. And like I said, there'll be moments in the fight where... Um, He'll have to work very hard to win moments, and he did. And I said, when he works really hard for the moments, I will make him pay. And I did. Um, no, he's a, he's a great fighter. Um, he caught me in the back of the head pretty early. It disoriented me. It took me a while to recover from it, to be honest. It's <laughs> sort of out, to be honest. But um, that definitely threw me a little bit. And then... Um, Whilst I was thinking about that, you know, it, it, another one came over. I was like, fucking hell. You know, it's, it's relentless with them right around the back. But um, no, look, he is a great fighter. You don't win um, multiple world championships if you're not. Um, for the layoff, I, I've had bigger layoffs than that. You know, some world champions only fight once a year, sometimes longer. So um, that shouldn't really affect you that amount of time, you know, um, at our level, we shouldn't. Um. Well, we said all along, like, if Josh, Josh's volume and that, like, uh, there's not a doubt in my mind, I, I've tried to say this so many times, that Lee is the biggest puncher in that division. There's not a doubt in my mind, not a, a doubt. Pound for pound, is the hardest puncher I've ever, ever felt. Um, got hit with a shot in the back of the head, like he said, and I think that disorientated him, and, and, and he took a while to recover. Um, I thought it hurt Josh in the first round. Um, but... Got flustered at times as well, you know, like I say, got hit with a shot back of the head that was a bit, uh, that disorientated him. But I said all along, I, I, I said all along I thought he was going to be a fight of the year contender. I just knew that Josh was going to come, he was going to let his hands go. Risky, we knew it was going to be risky, but I also knew, and that's why I knew it was going to be a great fight, that Lee brave enough to punch with him, that he punches hard enough to find that shot. And, and that's what happened. And it was a risky, risky game plan, you know. There was moments that Josh come off better in there, in, in those exchanges, but um, the final final moments that mattered, Lee, Lee, Lee found found the shot that, that made the difference. I said all week I haven't, you know, lied about it or anything like that. I've been open and honest. The last time I was comfortable with how Lee made weight was Kanzu. Since then, I've not been comfortable with it. Probably wasn't keen on doing this fight. Not... But once we knew it was going to be the fight with Josh, it was too big for, for Lee to turn down. This is Lee's last fight at the weight. Um, as I said all week, made no bones about how much of a struggle it is for Lee. Um, but thankfully, he got the job done and uh, can leave the featherweight division with, with the victory. Yeah, it's um, some some turnaround, um, kind of a Cinderella story, <laughs> but um, I don't want to take all the credit. You know, my team has has changed me as a fighter. Um, I just I know I wouldn't have won that world title without him. I probably wouldn't even won the British title without him. And that short space of time I had there before that, and um, completely changed me as a fighter, I've changed my perception on boxing um, and how I view it and how I operate. And I said it in my last last press conference, and I say it again in the next ten years. You know. These guys uh, are going to come through and, I, in my opinion, are going to be one of, if not the best trainer in the world, and Lee Wiley and Barry Nexum as well. Well, I think I've got a number of options. Um, as Eddie said tonight, you know, it was a great fight, but I kind of feel like, am I ever in a dual fight? Ever? Ever? No? I'm not, thank you. So um, on that basis, I think we've got the pick of the litter, to be honest. I mean, um, could give Josh uh, another shot. You know, I'd be open to that, but it wouldn't be a featherweight. I, I can't make it safely anymore. Um, there's other people at uh, the weight above. I'm not sure vacating the title, if I'd be managed for any of the title. But it's just, I've got a lot of options. Um, so we'll see what happens, see what the numbers were tonight, maybe, and um, look at our other options. But um, who isn't really a bigger problem? It's more of where. Um, City ground, and when? And, um, <laughs> and uh, question for Eddie, if, if, if that's okay. Eddie, I know we've been hearing this, but 
lot about City Ground. Are we really going to be going to the City Ground? Yeah, I think you know we 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 said to Lee Wood that that's what would be next if he was to be victorious. Um, I felt like it should have happened sooner. Um, you know, it's it's a big place, and I think there's big fights out there. I mean, you know, you you'll hear from Josh. I'm sure he feels like he should get another shot. It wouldn't, like I said, it definitely wouldn't be at 126. And I think Josh has been at 126 for a long time. But when you've got two sets of fans like you had tonight and, you know, you, you saw a thrilling fight, that's an option. Joe Caldina, would he even want to go, you know, a, almost in someone's backyard when he's the champion? If the deal was right, quite possibly. But, you know, the focus now would be to make sure that the next fight, whoever it's against, is at the city ground. Most definitely. I'll be honest with you, this will probably be my last fight at, at Feather. Um, I can still make it comfortably, but it's been a long time. And, um, you know, I just felt that like my better performance is inspiring and stuff like that. I come when I'm a bit heavier. So, um, yeah, most definitely I, w I would have uh, been looking to step up. Obviously, would have had to vacate the belt anyway. And then look, look step up, um, you know, would, would have been victorious tonight. <coughs> <coughs> no, not not really much to be honest with you. Um, you know, that's good to quote uh, Roger Melvin. Most people don't know fucking shit about boxing. You know, it's um, it, it does piss you off from time to time. But I've 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 developed a thick skin over the years. I mean, you know, I've been rooted off all all my career, even going back to fighting for the British title. Um, you know, I'm used to it now, so I'm not asking for people to fucking have offer a shoulder to cry on. It is where it is. Um, but I, I knew that um, Lee would be in a great form, but we could stop that. I knew that for a fact. Um, I feel like I've, I've, I've been in more bigger punches with Lee. Uh, bigger, bigger punches than Lee, he can dig. Obviously, he put me over, but, you know, not the biggest punch I've been in with. And, um, I just feel a bit hard done by tonight, you know, end it round, um, guess my feet, looking at me old fellow with a smile on my face and turns round at eight and next minute it's waved off. Do you feel like the point opposite to it Yeah, most definitely, most definitely because um, that's the back of the head, that's not bad at the back of the head, that's not the back of the head and the, the moments when Lou was looking down to avoid the shot and, you know, I'm for a tight hooks over. And in the in and one side of you and stuff like that, and you know, I know Ben had had a fair few carry carries, um, <coughs> fair few moments in between the rounds with the referee, and maybe that maybe changed his opinion a little bit. So yeah, I'm, um, you know, from a from a warning to a point off straight away, would yeah, quite annoying. Most definitely, it's, it's world championship boxing. You know, it's not tickling uh, competition. I think the big thing about it was, it wasn't even a close fight, was it? Josh Robinson was winning that fight easy. He was dominating it. He was hurting three or four times. Robinson was put down. He did wobble back to his corner, but he was up at ten. There was a minute for him to recover. He should have given him that minute. It I'm was a, a bad, bad decision. And I think Lee's already said he's willing to give the rematch to, to Josh. Josh has said he's willing to go up to nine four and meet him there. It's a no-brainer, Eddie should just make this fight and everyone will go out to Rina and obviously you'll find out who the best man is when they're both at 9-4 and they're both strong and fit and it's what everybody wants to see so I don't know why we should sit here and talk about other things. This has got to be a rematch because he was winning that fight and the referees took it off him. I think, can I just throw it out, I think you can see who the best man is but just say this to you, Lee, um, City Ground, if you get your dream fight, is that going to be the last one? Possibly, I'd like to say that fight by fight, um, it's hard to make a move tonight because I'm the fight first. Um, you know, I ain't got to quit him, I had to dig down, I had to really dig deep for me in the week, and then um, I had to dig, dig down in the fight as well. Um, but you know, we're taking it fight by fight, so we move up, see how I feel. Um, I'm 35, um, I sacrificed a lot to get here. I sacrificed a lot of time away from family, friends, and most importantly, my kids, so um, 
you know, we'll see. Like I said, fight by fight. I love boxing. It's all I've ever done. There's going to be a massive void in my life after boxing. So we'll see. Fight by fight. We'll um, we'll do the city ground. Then um, the only other thing I could think of is maybe a Vegas fight or something. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, fight by fight. City ground next, and then um, we'll talk again. What, being upset? Yeah, I'm devastated. Obviously, cruising the fight, we're up on the uh, up on scorecards, and um, you know, switched off for a split second, and it's boxing. Bell, I heard the bell go, turn round at eight, and I, I, thought, I thought it would have been at least given <coughs> the opportunity to sit down. I know the referees out there for our safety, but I'm 14 years deep into career. You know, only had one bad, bad night at office up up to press. Um, never really been hurt. This is my seventh world title fight. So, uh, yeah, I do feel that I should have been at least given the uh, opportunity to, to carry on. I mean, I know Eddie said, oh, I'm badly, badly hurt. I got up, maybe I got up too quickly, but my senses were all with me. And like I say, I could hear him counting. I heard the bell go and I turned around at eight. You know, in, I know we're not in the States, but like, you know, places you can get up at nine and, and let it go on. And I know they, they took come in and give you instruction prior to it, but I, I'm up there, I turn around at eight, and he's waving it off. And can I ask you how difficult the process was to get a game plan for Josh? Um, yeah, like, there's obviously, as I said before, there's areas of Josh's game uh, when, you, when you match the two fighters together that we knew that Josh would, would dominate in. There was areas that, that we knew Lee would dominate in. Um, I did feel like Josh was, was starting to fade. It was starting to tire. Um, I know, like Steve said, uh, Josh hurt Lee a couple of times. I thought Lee hurt Josh in the first round and obviously hurt him again in the seventh, which was the deciding factor. Um, but I said all along, I thought it was it was potentially going to be a, a, a fight. It weren't going to be anything but a fight of the year contender. Um, they're two fantastic fighters, unbelievable. They, 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 I said many times as well that they're uh, they've got a certain level of character that talent can't talent can't give you and I just knew that you know when one was hurt they was going to fire back and it was going to make for for an amazing fight and, and that's exactly what it was absolutely Absolutely, you know, not my best performance. Um, I did feel a bit groggy making the weight in that, but no excuses. Um, I dug down in that, but that the fight aside, you know, that's my best win. Josh is a two-time world champion, massive scalps on his record, um, without a shadow of a doubt. I, I, I'm the only Brit to beat him. Um, he's, such, he's a great fighter. Um, definitely my be my best scalp. Um, if we, get, we do it again, we do it again. If not, you know, I'd like a, a new challenge, but we'll see. Are we going to do it again then, Eddie? Everyone seems to want to watch it, and the two lads are up for it. It's yeah. up to the other you to do it. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I mean, I think when you've got two huge sets of fans, you know, you need, uh, as we've seen with Josh at stadium fights, you don't just make Josh against someone. You make it against Lee Selby for the world title. You make it against Maurizio Lara in a big rematch. So it's going to take a big fight for Lee Wood at the city ground. And, you know, we'll, we'll see what the demand is, what everybody thinks. I mean, I want to see the fight back because I think if they did stop the fight, I, I mean, my, my thoughts are, and I said to Josh in the ring, and I, you know, I think it's a, uh, I'd like to hear everybody else's views. I think that if Josh would have turned around, they would 100% let the fight carry on. If the ref did call it off at eight, I think it was too early because he should have given him, you know, the, the opportunity to turn around. But, uh, you know, from, from where I saw the fact that he went back to the corner and didn't turn, that's what the ref said to me. He said he wouldn't turn around, and if he didn't turn around, I can't let him continue. But for me, the numbers on the zone we already know were fantastic. The crowd was great. Why not? I, I don't see a problem. We'll talk about the weight, and uh, I think when you look at the front runners for sizes of fights at the city ground, I think the rematch is probably the biggest one. I 
I don't know what it is about me, but I ain't got to quit him in until that final bell goes in round 12. As you know, <laughs> two 12 round stoppages and I, I came through it tonight. I ain't got to quit him in. Um, never say never, never do die. It's just, I don't know, it's my attitude. Same as my career, you know, I didn't come off to the best start. I've turned it around and um, got the same in the Conlon fight, you know, um, round me up all you want. I'm just going to do it to the end and if I can do anything to win, I'll do it. Well, I, you know, I'm 32. I'm not as old as Lee, but um, I've had a, I've had some big fights and uh, I've had a long career. You know, it's coming up to my 14th year. You know, I would have been picking Eddie's uh, Ed to take us to America. You know, it's something that I've been wanting to do since I re-signed with him. Um, they're the team to do it, the best in the world, and uh, promotion promotion company. And I feel like, <coughs> you know, Eddie may have had other plans with uh, other fighters. You know, domestically, but you know, I'd still love to stick that box. You know, um, if I can't get the rematch, I mean, I'd, the, the rematch is he's number one right now. But yeah, I'd still love to go to the states as well. Um, you know, I just think, still think I've shown there that I think people looked at that Luis Alberto Lopez fight and thought, oh, Josh is fucking past it now. But I think I've shown tonight, dominated most of them rounds there. Switched off for a split second, like I say, it's well level boxing and. Um, you know, it's you know it's been taken away from me. So um, yeah, just have to have a few weeks off because I've been training non-stop more or less all year. Promise fights, what falling through. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. I've just kept my head focused on training, being patient. Ten months out, straight into a big fight again. And, you know, want to be tonight, but hopefully, Steve and Eddie will have chats given. You know, if not the rematch, offer me something else. To be honest, we might want to swear, carry on, smash them up <laughs> at this moment in time. But um, I, I just know that I've, I've still got plenty in the tank. You know, I've still got enough. There's never a, a part in there when I thought to myself, ah, it's, it's too far now, Josh, let, let it go. I never felt that. I felt like I were well in control and um, <coughs> had a plan to take it up, going into the second half of the fight, but obviously we never got to see that. Last two questions, guys. Lee, as the rounds progressed, did you feel, and obviously Josh will give you story on, did you feel like people were starting to write you off at any point? What, write myself off? People, I won't really think about what people I was just thinking about getting the job done. I was thinking, um, I was so focused, so... Um, in the zone, I knew that um, when he was winning the moments and working extremely hard for him, like I said before the fight, you know, I'll be making him pay down the stretch um, with them exchanges, and I did. Yeah, he's a great fighter. Um, I've been in with some really good fighters and different styles, different fights, but Josh is tough, probably one of the toughest I've been in with. All right, guys, well, well done both of you. Tremendous battle, and uh, congratulations. <laughs>